Good morning, YouTube. This is your host, MC Redsmith, coming at you with a new Let's Play of a game called Unturned with N4TH. Hey. As you can tell, we are already kind of uh, geared up, as you saw from my menu. You know, this is my character here, my avatar. You know, all decked out in the you know, spec ops type stuff, you know, but that's ninja gear, so forth, so on. And you also see, you know, got everything here. And you see N4TH there. Yeah. And also, my particular items and what I look like. Yep. So there you go. Uh, that motion that he does when he uh, crouches like that is when he looks into his inventory, which is by pressing tab. It doesn't really show you as the player when you're playing it. That bending over motion, it just shows you as standing up. But yeah, as I say, once it looks like he's tying his shoelaces. Yeah. So you know, there you go. All right. Well, we've uh, already built a base, as you can see. You know, we got a lot of vehicles. We've already been doing some scavenging. Up, oh, hey, there's a zombie. This is the crossbow, one of the weapons that they added in later in the game. After, you know, doing some configuring and some testing and stuff like that. You know, the range on it's pretty decent. And of course, then you've got your outfield, which is this gun here. As you can see, I am reloading it right now. It does have a uh, silencer on it, plus a 6x zoom scope. And if I press E, you'll see a red dot pop up on the zombie's head. And that's basically that thing on the end of the barrel is called a muffler. And I will show you that in my inventory as well. It's a pretty big gun. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the way you're waving it around. <laughs> yeah. I like, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Right in my face. Yeah. Uh, the gun that Nathan has there is the Mosin, so. Yeah, it's another gun that they added in as well as the uh, shotgun here, the Nuva, or however you want to pronounce it, you know, depending on what language you speak. Me, I always take out the uh, enemy from a distance. And of course, I'm out of ammunition in my sniper rifle, so I'm swapping over to my crossbow. Which, as you can tell, is way quieter than even the muzzle or the muffler. I'm looking at the end of your gun, by the way. That thing there, which is crafted with using two cola cans and a tin can. That is the crossbow of, of how it looks standard. Because it does come with the 6 times zoom scope. Alright, anyways, uh, as you can see... We've got a farm situation on the go as well, up top. Let's go ahead and give them a tour of the base, Nath. All right. All right. Now, the reason why... See, I'm only able to access the store if you want to go and check out Nathan's perspective. Uh, you'll see that you that see door... A, yeah, a red, red outline. outline. Which means he cannot access that door. Only I can access that door. Okay, we did have a door here, but a zombie wound up breaking it, so... Eh, whatever. This is our one of many storage area, as you see, you know, we got a lot of empty containers as well as some full, so forth, so on. If you want to check out whatever's here, uh, just pause the video. Now, as you see on Nathan's chests here, well, that's what these are, his chests, you'll see the red outline. That means I cannot access his chests, only he can, as you see. He's accessing each yeah. one of them. Now, when it's got the green outline like that, that means I can access it. If it's red, cannot. Just like his bed, since he placed it, is bound to him. As you see the red outline there. Now, we do have the uh, little generator and the lights here, but, you know, we got the brazers up. And this is the floor that I mainly stay on for the most part whenever we first spawn in. These are my crates and my chests, as you see. 
You know, none of this stuff was spawned in. We actually legitly found all this stuff. And up here is the farm. As you will see, N4TH has been at some serious work. And we even got a torch there that will keep that aglow. <laughs> How about that? And then sometimes I'll come up here on this section, which is, as you notice, different brimmed. Because that is a greenhouse platform, and this is just standard platform. Yes, don't. I know you OCD people are just tweaking out over these cracks and stuff, but get over it. That's all I can say. Get over it. You don't like it? Quit watching. Alright. Now, uh, we do have maps that we uh, pull up, but of course we've explored this map quite well. As you will also notice, we have another uh, extension to the building here, back behind there. This is our getaway vehicle if we ever, you know, come under siege by too many zombies. If you want to come in, Nathan, if you can fit through there. <laughs> you know, each side can be raised and lowered. Wood, like the wood doors, can be accessed by anybody, as Nathan will show his audience now. See, anything wood can be accessed by any player. Anything metal can only be accessed by the person that places it. This is our storage, which as you will see, you know, we've done quite a bit of crafting, gathering, so forth, so on. I'm just going through the chest just briefly to show them what all we got. And yes, you do see C4 That's in there. You know, we got health items, we got six generators and six extra lights, we got some extra gas. You know, we got a barrette with the label or label uh, magazine that goes with that, all fully loaded. We got a lot of crossbows, magnums, the PDW magazine, which I got to find the gun for that one. Then we got Street a supply on this. Yeah, on that side, I'll show. Yeah, I'll show uh, my audience that as well here in just a moment. You know, you'll see that we got the canned foods here. We've got, you know, basically what would be health and farming stuff over here. As you see, food supply, which I need to put that in there. Because that was one of the latest kills that I did. And then we've got this. This is all of our food. And the torches here, or the braziers, as you see, do kind of keep it pretty well lit in here. So two in a you know four by four square radius keeps it pretty well lit so we're all good there all right now what do you want to do this episode Nathan this is our starting episode I figure we could do something for the audience let them see yeah. us in action uh, I've got five arrows left I've got a handsaw on me and I've got some sticks figure what take on let's see really we've already been up to the uh, that one base how about we go up to the military base just right up s above uh, Alberton there up in that area yeah yes how about we go up there and uh, show them some Strategical positioning. Okay. What vehicle would you feel like taking? Because I don't feel like walking. <laughs> I know that this one here is uh, low on gas. Mm. <laughs> you you really want to take a pedo van? No, I was like probably not. <laughs> okay. How about we take oh, in style. You want to ride in the lemon? Yeah. All right. I'll be in. All right. Now I gotta 
Make sure not to hit the police car. That's just a switch between the front and back. Alright. Alright. Now we're gonna spin around on our farm here. Because we gotta head in this direction. We gotta go through Alberton. Which is the uh, next town up and over. Oh hey look, there's a zombie in the road. But you'll get a good you'll get a good hit on him if you was in the back, man. Here, I'll even slow down for you. You got him in your sights? Now I do. Alright. There you go. That's the crossbow for Nathan's viewers. Now, how you control the vehicle is with W, A, S, and D. Just like if I wanted to run over this zombie right here. Which I just did. Which does do damage to your vehicle over time. It d actually, it just depends on how many zombies you hit in a row. <laughs> Ain't that right there? Yeah. Yes, that's what always seems to come to you. Yeah, but you can't... Of, yeah. yeah, go ahead. It's kind of like locked to a vehicle the more you hit in a row. Yeah. If it all, all bumps up. Yeah, it slows, them, slows you down. But you can repair your vehicle with a blowtorch. <laughs> So, you know, this is one of many, as you noticed, of our vehicles. Uh-oh, we're out of gas. Out of gas, man. Man, not a good time, to. Yeah, well, eh. We can make it all foot from here. We'll just have to come back and remember that the lemon is on this road. <laughs> We've left so many on the freaking road, it's not even funny. Yeah, yeah time to relay. Unfortunately, I've been, I've been the one to blow them up. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it's alright. I mean, we're not that far from where we're intending on going, because if my viewers are looking at their screen right now, they would see the military base that we are going for, which is dead ahead. I, I was just looking through a scope so that they could see. That thing's got a lot of zombies in it. Let's see. I need to... Uh, do I have an extra clip on me there? No, I do not. But I do have plenty of shotgun rounds to mess with. We're going to go in loud and proud, Nath. How about that? Yep. Like the sound of it. Loud and proud. Shotgun's ready to go. Now, uh, there is the option to have PvP turned on, to where if n I got into Nate's way of shooting a zombie, it would do damage to me. And if the same would happen to Nate if he got into my way. That's the power of this shotgun, by the way. Point blank, always devastating. Always devastating to a zombie. Get up close to personal in their face. They don't stand a chance. Works on the crawlers, which are those little dudes right there, as well as the walkers. So, let's go ahead and let Nathan show his audience how well the lever action, which is the weapon he is holding, works on them as well. There you go. You gonna go after that crawler there? There you go. Now did he do damage to you? No. Alright, we got one coming out. He's acting like he's running. I'm reloading. There we go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, a lot of blood, as you can see, on my end. Painting it red. Yeah, we painting this town red, man. Got to paint it red. Oh, what is this over here on the ground? Oh, that's the maple strike, and we got bandages. Nice. The maple strike is a decent weapon, mm -hmm. as you will see.
It is a basically AK version. You see it is chambered in NATO ammunition. But I'll stick with my uh, shotgun for now. <laughs> yeah, health kit. Our blood bag, saw. Let's go ahead and clear this place out, man, so we can do some proper exploration of it. Or raiding of it, should I say. So I'm going to go ahead. If you want to cover me, I'm going to go up here. Let's see. We got a NATO magazine. Military magazine. And a six-time zoom. Nice. All right. Which means if you want to see how to tweak a weapon, you need to equip it. Press and hold your T, as you'll see. says dual component rail. Eh, I don't really care for the dual component rail. That turns it basically into a sniper rifle right there as you see at the bottom there it says safety is MV there you go you change that what'd you shoot at uh, a distant target oh okay alright now as you see it's basically an assault rifle there you go oh uh, here comes one ah nice it is within your range uh, I've already gotten him, so I'll let you get him if you want. And we got a zombie on the other side of the wall. Crawler? Oh, he's outside the wall. Don't really worry about that. <coughs> if he wants to come in, he'll come in. They know how to pathfind. I mean, there is a hole in the back wall, so... Eventually he'll find his way in, somehow. Oh man, there's no Hummer here. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the ladder. What's up, dude? We should talk about painting the hangar red. Lol. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got over here? We got bolts. Eh, we can make bolts. We know how to do that. At Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Is that a Desert Eagle? Yeah. Yes, Desert Falcon. Hello, dude. And we got another one inbound. Okay. Go ahead and load up in uh, that mag. I'm going to grab that sucker. Hello. Ah, oh, nice shot. You had buckshot, right? Yeah, you can see an old base that we had set up in here. So, yeah. But, yeah, you were saying? Behind you. What? Yeah. Now you can continue on with the... Yeah. Uh, the old... Yeah, the old base here. We had set up a temporary shelter when we came out here one time before, and... Yeah, that thing kind of got wrecked. <laughs> you got bent. We'll show you that here in just a moment after we go up here and check this tower here. Because maybe I might get a decent sniper rifle. I'm hoping for something. Uh, another six time scope. Ah. Looks like luck's running out this time around, Nath. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Because that last one was really good find. Oh yeah. Especially First the maple off. strike. Yeah. <laughs> Maple Strike and the Desert Eagle, basically, gun. Even though they call it a different name. Oop. I like copper on the walls. Hey, dude. Or j okay, these two guys are stuck here. Yeah, I'm out. Of course, I have a katana. So yeah. All right. Let's go up here and check this. If there's something up here that, ah, uh, only a forest helmet. No. Standard pickup. Uh. And we got a zombie outdoors. Let's see. Anything in here? Ah, uh, just a cult. Oh, did you get him? Nice. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah. They're coming through that back hole. 
Now, if you want to play a, you know, basically sneaky, tactical thinking person, how you crouch is you press X, and how you go prone is you press Z. C, depending on how you set up your controls, would be your crouch. Ooh, what is this? There's another, hey, here's your maple strike. Oh. We shared the loot, by the way. Sleeping bag. This is what it looks like. Yeah. It's unmodified. Yeah, mine is unmodified as well, so. But yeah, that's what it looks like when it's in your character's hand. The only thing oh, I... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, here, I'll uh, toss off that scope for you so you can attach it to yours. And that way they can see what mine looks like now. That's what mine looks like. Looks like a oh. true tactical... <laughs> looks truly tactical, Dude. don't it? Yeah. There you go. So now what I can do, since I'm pretty much out of rounds, is swap that over. Because I do have a NATO magazine. Uh, how many rounds do you have currently in your magazine there, Nathan? How many shots? One, one full clip. Yeah, one full clip. All right. Now, as you'll see, U.S. military grade. As you'll see, it's not allowing me to combine them. For some reason. Now, if I decide to, oh, say, press 3, as you'll see, I have 22 out of 30 shots in mine. Now you can switch the firing mode from semi-automatic to fully automatic with this weapon. Just depends on your firing style. Now as you notice there is no more zombies in here but they will spawn back in over time. This place is never a hundred percent secure. Oh we got a red dot sight in here man. If you want to put that on your shotgun. Now, I'm going to, ooh, vaccine, all right, picked up a vaccine. I pressed N on my keyboard, which would actually be like E, normally, or uh, not, well, N is for night vision for me. It activates the night vision, as you want to show your viewers there, Nate. Which one? Uh, the night vision, because it's getting dark out. Actually, yeah, stars are a different one and reds. Yeah, his is yeah. mine is the civilian, even though it gives the green. His is the military edition, which gives the white background. Which I don't know why. I mean, it's not necessarily white. Night vision for military style is generally the color that the civilians has for some reason. But eh. Somebody got that backwards. Maybe the d the dev will uh, fix that. Six times zoom scope up here. Let's yeah. see. I've only got one shot left on this. Actually, I had more than what I thought on bolts. Wow. Had people inside of people. See, this weapon here is great for sniping. The crossbow, you don't really have to worry about much. Besides the reload time and when you run out of ammunition. On your six there, Nathan. There you go. I was trying to get around to it. Alright, now let's scope out the area. As you can see, during the night, they will respawn. And there's the old base. They've already busted down the walls and stuff like that. The only thing that's left standing is the actually door on that thing. <laughs> Surprisingly, they left the door standing. But yeah, anytime your base becomes damaged like that, you can always repair it, depending on how damaged it becomes. So... Yeah, sorry for, for the tutorial style. By the way, there's a uh, scope right below you, right here. 
I'm really hoping to get the uh, sniper rifle, but I may eventually get that next episode. Just depends on how often I come back out here. If y'all like this video, let me know. And also, uh, go check out Nath's side of the videos. Uh, I'm slowly working my way up, but it's it, my channel's getting there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, A any support would be great. Yeah. Also, you know, like subscribe to him if you like his side of the video. I mean, he's he's a good buddy of mine, and you know. When I'm not producing content, he might be producing something that you might like to see. He's done a lot of uh, older style gaming, uh, like Tomb Raider. Am I correct? Eventually, I've got to get back to it, but yeah. Yeah. Still, still in my mind whether I'd continue with that or try my hands at the anniversary one because I love that one. Too. Yeah. And you know, he also covers like uh, trains and locomotives because of where he lives in Australia you know yes. that's their way of transportation for the most part I mean they do have cars but not many people can afford cars out there am I right or am I wrong I wouldn't <laughs> I probably can but it's just like are they ready are they ready to drive yeah that's another thing I mean you know, you might think Australia, you know, like you see in Crocodile Dundee, just open terrain, you know, you figure, oh, hell, just jump in a vehicle and go out and just tear up the terrain. No, 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 no. Don't work like that. And I mean, those of you that live in Australia, you know what I'm talking about there. So, you know, thumbs up to y'all for, you know, being on a island, basically, is what it's considered, but it. It's big enough to be a continent. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know. And not all Australians are bad. There are a few bad cookies out there. But. You know. Like. N4TH here. He's a good guy. So. You know. Do me a favor viewers. Go check him out. Hit him with a sub. And uh. You know, follow him along. He does some live streaming every now and then, so you know you never you never know. You might catch him. Uh, I'm going to put at the top of my uh, recording now a web address, as you'll see there now, that uh, we use for our live streams. Now I created this thing for us to use, so. You know, you can actually view our live streams on there. You could leave us comments. Uh, if you want to see us, you know, live stream in, you know, real time. I live stream off Twitch. So there's about a 20 to 30 second delay. Sometimes I'll use uh, livestream.com, which gives you at minimum one second delay up to, you know, maybe at max 15 second delay. So, you know, you can check me on either one of those. Uh, Nath, uh, I don't know which one you generally prefer, but... Uh, yeah, I've been using Livestream.com. Yeah, Livestream.com is a very awesome website to use. It is an awesome site to use, and, you know, if y'all want to check it out, y'all want to get into live streaming... That's the best place to go and try your foot at it. I mean, easy program to set up. No, no beating around the bush. It's just set up, live stream, go. There you go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All over but screaming and shouting at the end of the day. But anyways, uh, Nath, we're about to hit that 30-minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do my right. outro, and yeah. in last call, and ask you to please leave so I can shut like the door behind you, and bid you a fine farewell. When it goes deep, go deeper. And thank you for watching, and also tuning in. 
and like I said before, go and visit N4TH on his YouTube channel, Nath0217. Link will be in the description below, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.